Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another 112 skill figure unboxing and review video. Today we will be looking at this Star Wars The Black Series Vice Admiral Rampart from the Disney Plus Star Wars The Bad Batch series. This is a Walmart exclusive figure and it was announced together with the Imperial Clone Shock Trooper which I don't have yet but I will get it soon later. Once again, I purchased this unit from my local hobby shops in Malaysia. So as usual, before we do the unboxing, let's take a look at its box art design first, shall we? So at the front of the box, we got this typical standard arrangement for Black Series figure. And we can see at the top, we have the Star Wars Black Series logo. And then we can see clearly the figure and its accessories inside. And at the bottom here, we can see the title for which series this character is in with its color recognition, which in this case is a dark maroonish kind of color. And then we got the character's name, i.e. Vice Admiral Rampart. Over here, we got this warning stating choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years old. And over here, we got the Hasbro logo. And then on the other side, we got this beautiful artwork for the character. And we have his name at the bottom of the box. And at the rear display, we can see its standard segmentation for the product information. On the right side, we have the same artwork as the side of the box. And then at the left part, we have the character's short biography with multiple languages. And then at the center here, we have the product number, which is in this case is the number 8 in sequence with the series title and then here we have the honorable legalese rights manufacturers and Hasbro logo on the other side you can see the figure because it's a corner plastic window type of boxes and at the top it's just a small clear plastic opening to make way for the light to come in at the bottom here we have the barcodes and honorable legalese distributors and unimportant stuff so guys, without further ado, let's jump into the unboxing segment, shall we? Okay, the figure looks well intact, there is no damage or any missing part or accessories. It doesn't have much either anyway. And let's take a look at this figure on the rotating turntable. So guys, this is the figure looking very neat and menacing looking. I was on a fence when it came out for pre-order. And not just Rampart, the entire Bad Batch figure was out of my collection listing. And one day because of curiosity, I have to try to watch the series at least once. But at that time, the series had gone through 10 episodes already, while I was only to begin to watch the first episodes. Since then, I've been following the series until the recent episode. Man, I think Vice Admiral Rampart is actually a very good antagonist and Hasbro has actually done a pretty good job here in translating him into a plastic form. They got the proportions right, I love the uniforms, color scheme, I love the expression that they're using for him and for the articulation, we will check it out later in the video after I cover the figure details up close and personal. Before we go to the uh, figure details, so let's take a look at its accessories and as you can see here, this is the blaster that it came with uh, it has a pretty nice detail to it and the sides on the blaster looks uh, fairly different as you can see here but uh, it actually doesn't have any you know wash or any pen details on it so that's a bummer, it's just a black plastic and maybe you can paint it out if you're good at it this is the second accessories for him and as you can see here uh, it's a droid but i don't know the specific name for it if you know you can comment down below in the uh, comment section and it does have some uh you know uh wash there it's not just a plain black uh, box or droid over here you can see here a bit a different tone to it we have a little bit more silver wash at this uh, corner you see that and this uh, wheel is a very loose piece uh, and 
it's a diff, uh, loose part actually and it can be uh, rotate so yeah so guys this is the figure details and overlook uh, up close and personal and as you can see at the face cop over here you can see the expression is uh, very well done by Hasbro and I love the face uh, printing technology is getting more improved although this is a uh, animation uh, character animated character and yeah they still get the look right you know and uh, uh, the hair does have some details to it it has some shiny you know uh, finish to it you can see that it continues to the side also and I love how they uh, just uh, you know minor uh, wash to this uh, uh, hair sculpt over here so that's pretty good job it's just a uh, it has some very tiny sloppy paint over there so you can see that just a little, a little bit uh, smudgy and the uh, uniform is done pretty good here I love the skin color I love the overall uh, segmentation of black and green over here uh, the boots looks very nice the trousers looks very nice too and it does have some holes over there it's for the pin for the knee articulation knee joint over there and I love the skin tone for the hands it does have some sort of a vein over there that is pretty uh, detail and I love and I love the details that they put on this figure so as you can see more details on the wrinkles for this uniform it makes this uh, figure looks much more lively and yeah I love it it has a standard uh, black series uh, figure joint as you can see that so yeah very standard I will uh, talk about more of its articulation later and as you can see here it does have some sort of detail uh, for his rank and it's painted very carefully and neatly it doesn't have smudge or anything I love it it does give the contrast to the uniform itself see that the groove line here is very nice it's a uh, very hard plastic to it yeah very hard plastic because this is actually a double plastic over here so it's really hard but not at as at the back over here and as if you can notice over here you can see that there's a different type of finish to this uniform and some part of it is a little bit more shinier than the other part so like this one and this one this one looks more shinier as you can see that it does reflect light but at the arm it does have the same finish but it doesn't really you know uh, uh, give the same effect as this one so it actually tally with this uh, uh, part over here but at the back you can see the difference you can see that there's a lot of uh, shiny material that they uh, put on his back over here and at the bottom here it's just dull so guys this is the figure details and let's take a look at its articulation so for the articulation let's begin with his head first and he can turn left and right that much and then looking up not that mm, not that good and looking down not that good as well and he has very little of tilt over there so in other hand we can say that it's very limited for him to you know uh, make a movement for his head and then for the middle part over here he doesn't have the torso cut so we cannot actually bend down um, that much but we have this uh, articulation on his waist over here we can rotate it if you want but it's just a, a small articulation there so the arm can raise till that extent you have full rotation on the shoulder and then we have only single jointed elbow over here uh, rotation and hinge at the wrist over here and for the leg we can spread it out like that 
it does have a swivel at its tie kicking forward that much not to hindered by this piece over here and then kicking backward that much and also we have a double jointed knee over there we have ankle pivot over here and hinge forward and back so this is the articulation for him and I think it's fairly enough because uh, I don't think he will do much more you know uh, posing or uh, dynamic poses some sort of like that so I think the the best uh, look for him is just standing there with the uh, troopers right now let's take a look at its skill comparison together with my other uh, black series collection so the first comparison will be with this uh, first and the second uh, earlier figure that we got recently uh, this year and that is a uh, hunter and crosshair and the second one is this black series clone commander arc echo and we have the bad batch wrecker and i think they look pretty amazing together next up we have this commander obi-wan kenobi and anakin skywalker and as you can see this uh figure uh looks pretty uh you know more or less the same height now we have this uh, SH figure art written of the Jedi Darth Vader and the Black series uh, Moff Gideon from the Mandalorian series and Rampart seems to be much taller than Moff Gideon yeah the last but not least is this Black series Mandalorian Dinjarin and SH figure art written of the Jedi Luke Skywalker and I think Admiral uh, Rampart suits and fits well with uh, both of these lines and if you want to mix and match with this uh, SH figures line you can do so at the end of the day I think this is a pretty good and solid figure from Hasbro I think they've done a pretty good job and I'll be anticipating more uh, figure from this uh, Bad Batch series and hopefully we can get more characters in the line uh, soon so yeah that is the end of my review so if you like the video please click the like button and if you feel you want to support me please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell notification button so you will be notified once my video comes live so thanks again for watching until we meet again in my next video sayonara